here we are on July 11th. And we decided to shoot in 60p, which looks a little bit more like video. But maybe it's a little clearer too. And um, today we're not going to get a lot of updates. We're just going to see them work. So first take a look at where we are. going on. The other side, I see something we haven't seen yet. And that's why we split it. See how tight this piece is? Just like that? Yep. Okay. That's the answer to that question. That's a drum beat. So this time we come down, we're going to do our surfaces, the top edge, and we're going to split it. So when it goes in next time, it goes in nice. That way we can mark an accurate, a pretty accurate caulking double. Mm -hmm. So then when it comes off the next time, we put that in, and then tomorrow we'll glue this one up. Tonight we'll glue the other one up. And that's another reason you leave these planks, Charlie, because it gives you something to wedge down from, and it keeps everything together until you're ready to rip it apart. Okay, the, uh, we could go either way. Let's just do the front first. It doesn't matter on this. This plank's behaving a lot nicer than that one on the first side. Making her name. This is a, a, this is a nice little print of the plank. The other one was not. It had demons. Okay, we'll call this one Samantha. <laughs> Alright, keep, keep it in the S family. S Susanna's sister. <laughs> wow, that's a tank. There's a little joke right there. Okay, I got the front of it. Yeah. Ready, John? Yeah, I'm going to chop it. Can you it for me? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Take it that way. Okay. It's better just all the way around that bench. Just try to thread your way to it. Sean. No, no, John. Go that way. Hey, you want to get it? Yeah, I got it. Hey, Danny. See how this is like only like a 16 bit? Yeah. Just hit one there. And then we get one here. Yeah. So that's a total of five Sharpie pencils. Pencil, you have. pencil monitor. Five pencils and one Sharpie. All made in China. Once you get to be 35 like me, you got to use a, a darker marker. Darker shade? Yeah. I, I'm over, I'm like 36 now, so I, I'm kind of getting my sights failing around the waist. Is that sound on? That's off. Now, we can end it again. Clint, that was impressive. Put it up on the edge, right? Yep, yep. What's the sacred edge? Okay. Just one clamp to keep the side. It keeps it straighter, so when you're playing it, you can see what you're doing. 
Remember that little split we had here? Yeah. It's going to be gone, right? That's right. See, we didn't care. Yeah. We knew that this was coming off, so it was just a... We just left this ragged. Here we go. Noisemaker. This goes... This rolls out here, remember? Mm -hmm. And then about here it goes back to square. So it's a kind of... You when you're learning this, you have to lay that out, but I've been doing it long enough to where I just eyeball it. to hit the dot? Or See how that dot is there? Yeah. That should be about split in half. That was just about there. See it? Yeah. And so that corresponds with our nice line on top. Here. Yeah. Should be pretty close to those lines, huh? Yeah. Well, it's just about there. Well, it took about 15 minutes to get this Straighten Yeah, but that, that uh, rabbit was way nicer than that starboard side. Oh. That, that port side was a real mess. What's it called in, in French or the English? Hmm. In English, it's port? Yeah, no, I meant like uh, the last commander. Oh, the uh, larboard last. Yeah, larboard. 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 <laughs> Hang out here. Because I think now this this plank, because it's bent so good, we don't need it. We may not have to mold this one. Oh, you taking that material off the end there? Do I have any nose hairs? No, you got a filter for this. That's done? That's done, you got it? Yeah. Do I have any nose hairs? later. question? It's nice. Okay. Bouncing again? Bouncing back. I can do that. Uh, How's that clamp? Is it pretty good? That's a good snow right there. You see this here? here yeah. It it's a yeah. function of how much pressure you have at the end of the plant. 
Anyway, the wedges need to be right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just make sure this one is not going to hit the frame, John. Yep. Ready? Mm hmm. You're going to hit the frame. That one. Cleared it. He cleared it. You cleared it? Yeah. There you go. Was that a small one? Oh, it is. Yeah. That's a problem. See that? And once you get pressure on the wedges, you can tap this and it'll drop in. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, actually, it's a little. It's almost good. Okay. Ready? It's not on the frame? No. We need to go ahead and put our wedges in here. Right here. Right on the line. Huh? You're on the line. How's it look though in the rabbit? Does it look? Let me check it with this. Yeah, oh, no. It's got to go down. See when it goes down, it'll tighten. Okay. It'll just be a little more pencil line. Watch it and see if it goes down. A little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's below the line now. Okay. Oh, it's got to go down a lot. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, you want to pinch that in with the other clamp like we did? We can. Why don't we pinch the top? But I, I think the plank is, has to come back. Not even a sixteenth. Yeah. It just so All right. we take those wedges out. <clears throat> we'll leave that. Right move? Yeah. That's that's good. And we're under our lot. We're just. We're riding the line, so I think you might be able to. Okay, that's all we no, need. Okay. That's nice. So by the time you tighten it and put the knock it down, this back edge will tighten. Still loose there, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, wedges. <laughs> Okay, wedges here. See the W? Wedges there. And then we can make an accurate conking bevel mark. Um, what's we getting? Let's see. Sorry. Yeah, right here. Oh, there we go. Done. Done. Okay. See it's starting to want to roll out. I'll gauge. We need a clamp high. Here. Put this one. Get it down low. Pull the bottom in. Right. Are you good on the rabbit? Yeah, I'm on the rabbit. Okay. Listen now. Hear this noise? Crazy. That's why you put that little bevel in the back of the plank so it doesn't dig in. Okay. Wedges here. Yeah, wedges. Yeah, wedges right in here. Those aren't tight yet, though. Okay. Let's do those. Tighten those up. Hey, I got. It. Yeah. Why is it 30 seconds out? 30 seconds over Tokyo. Great <laughs> drop down to it. And of course, when we have the bitumen, we can't. But that's why we use the one inch trick. Yeah. And as you should see, one of these lines, some of these are rogues. Mm -hmm. like this one's good, this one's a little hooked. Yeah. What's, what's important is this that this top edge is nice now. So when we go to fit a plank to it, we're not fitting some yeah. nonsense. Four wheel drive you. What John would have done. John, John, John did it. Yeah.
And here, do the end here. Just in tight. Tight. Goes in halfway. That's what my dentist was doing on Monday. He was sticking these little gauges down there. <laughs> He was checking the out gauge on my choppers. <clears throat> I think we can leave this, this thickness here because back aft, it's, it's sticking out an eighth. And we're going to start building up. Um, okay, now the last test is this. Well, this isn't home yet. These are just clamps, basically. Yeah, pull it in. Yep. Okay. So now we can check on the tightness. Now the wedges are pushing it out too right mm -hmm. now. So do that. Right here, the wedges are pushing it out. You take this out and watch the plank. It should move in a little bit. No. I don't think we gotta mold this one. Well, the piece of wood had a natural bend in it. Yeah, we utilize that, this one. Yeah. yeah. So between that and the fact that this rabbit's a lot better than one of the um, I think we just call it good and, and plan on putting it in tomorrow. Nice. We'll mold the other one now. Inside, yeah. Because we know we got to mold that one. And then um, I'll mark the caulking bevel on this now. And we can take it off. And uh, I guess mold the other one. But we'll just take your okay, screws. See, we can't utilize this frame right now; it's too low. Oh, the next frame, can't, next plank, we can. Same story. When we when we go to fasten to this frame on this next plank, long yeah, screws that go through this and into that forefoot. So that you're utilizing these big timbers back here to add strength. <clears throat> so we're gonna go one, two, three. Beeswax on the screws. Yep. Yeah. Here, that's one <clears throat> but here it's, it's basically just you're staggering them like this to spread the load and, and to keep from splitting the plank. Um, but these will stay pretty much along this line. You see where the keel is here? And we'll hit another one here. Uh, here, pretty soon we're going to abandon the keel on the top edge and maybe hit it in a few spots in the middle of the plank as we go back, which is a good way to not load the frames up down low. In other words, use your screw or bolt here and then catch the keel down here as opposed to a screw and then a screw. So you got all this stuff is spread out over a large area, which takes all the um, stress off any one given fastener. Hey, Clint. I think it's in the cart, my little, um, my little magic block. The block you build a whole boat with. <laughs> See, this looks like it's got engage here. It's bugging me. I will check it real quick. Are you, were you able to find that little thing? The little gauge bevel? No. no. Here's a very specialized tool. Gosh, when we find that, that will be a romantic moment. This, <laughs> yeah. This block has been around a while. It looks like there's engage, and there is. See it? Yep. See the engage? The plank is bigger out here than it is on the inside. And that's a no-no for here. But we knew that. You see our dot? Yeah. So we leave this alone. The next time it goes to the bench, we put that. Now back here, it's starting to get square. See it? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're looking for on the garbage. <coughs> Either dead square or the tiniest amount of out gauge. One of the things you always want to do, you'll see a, you go on the, the four peak of a lot of boats, including this one. This one wasn't too bad, but you'll see planks that are not real tight in the rabbit. Kind of like an eighth inch, yeah. See this plank here, it's hard to see unless you stand down there, but this plank is pretty vertical and then it begins to roll abruptly up into this shape here. Okay. And it's also curving around. 
So you see how tight it is back there? That's what you're trying to achieve. Back in that rabbit there, see how tight oh, it is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, of course, represents our caulking bevel. But, and so all along, same way, you want it to be sitting in hard in that rabbit. <clears throat> getting a good focus. All right, yeah, you want it to be sitting flush against that, as the much, frame, right? Yeah, I mean, everything. Or the against the keel, whatever. And this rabbit, too. And against that. Yeah. Because when the boat is launched and it swells, everything swells together and against one another and, and it seals up. We're laying out the caulking bevel down here. This is our out gauge. Okay. And we're gonna go from zero back here to this much material removed down to this line here. And that'll give us our out gauge necessary to get a, basically a square surface to this area. Okay. And then down here you have a caulking bevel. Caulking bevel, usually I like to make them small because they only get bigger. <laughs> uh, about an eighth of an inch or so on a boat like this. And they go in about 50% of the plank depth um, to zero. Did you cut that once the plank is installed? No, no, you gotta do this on the bench next. Oh, okay. You do it each, with each plank as you okay. go. And you do it with a plane by hand. It's the only tool to do it. Because the caulking bevel is never the same all the way through. So it's not like you get the plank there and then just kind of, you have an edge to follow that you just widen out a little bit. You can't. I mean, there's no tool that will do it. Because you can't. See how these roll and twist? And yeah. <clears throat> you just, I mean, if you're going to spline it, you're going to use a skill saw or something. But even that's a little sketchy down here. But the caulking bevels have to be put in prior to the plank going on. Okay. And it's usually one of the last things you do. The reason I'm doing it now is because this plank's going to go on one more time before it actually goes on the lid. Okay. So if there's something I don't like about the caulking bevel, that's the time to fix it. What have you done to your hair? Yeah. Look at that guy. Oh, because uh, we're in the beanie? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hey, you do look. <laughs> hey! It's a, wow! With the beard. Static electricity, huh? Go this beard. way, we can really see it. Yeah, check it out. Oh, stop it! <laughs> with the four day growth and that, it's just yeah. like Miami Vice Woody Woodpecker. Yeah. You know what it is? Good, brother. I'm, go I'm, feeling, I'm feeling the whole vibe in Venice, man. Are you? Yeah. You're gonna get the dreads on the Beach. Beachy. Yeah. Tap sex. I'm going to get the November, tats next have week. Down yeah. And then that. hoop earrings. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be cruising. I will be no, driving no, the car no. here. I'll be cruising on my cruiser all the way here. Right. It took me four hours. Yeah, you get the little pearl right <laughs> here in the piercing? Yeah. Did I go for that? Oh, dude, there's a hot chicken. What's your like burst on? Mine? Uh, it's a ruby. Oh, nice. That'd be good in your left ear. Be my middle name. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> Jingles Ruby. Jonathan Ruby. Jingles. <laughs> Jingles.